Hey everyone, it's Space435. I'm here with another uh, video. Um, today I'm showing you something completely different from anything I've made before. Um, uh, a f back in October, uh, Google announced a new programming language that, language that they're coming out with called uh, Dart. Um, it's still in development stages, so there's still a few bugs in it, but I'm going to be showing you, uh, I'm going to be making a series of tutorials on how to make, uh, make different applications that I'm going to show you actually in this video um, in the future. But, um, it's called Dart. It's a web development, um, an open source web development uh, programming language, and it ki it's kind of a combination between Java, JavaScript, PHP, and C++. Um, it's also an object-oriented uh, programming language or web programming language, which is pretty sweet, I think. But um, so yeah, right now I'm just going to show you what I made. Um, I started working with this yesterday. Um, I made three, uh, well, three main things aside from just screwing around. But um, the first thing that I made was a simple little game. I mean, I don't, even, I don't know if you can call it a game, but um, I'm deciding whether or not to make a tutorial on how to make this because it lags so much. Um, especially with Camtasia running, it's going to lag really bad. But when you press the arrow keys, um, the little blue square moves. Um, now the thing about this is when you run into the red uh, rectangle, or any of the red rectangles, um, you don't, it doesn't let you go through it, so it's like collision detection. Um, this is kind of, it was kind of difficult to make. I mean, for my first thing, it was kind of hard, but I mean, I had a pretty good idea on what to do and how to do it. Um, but, uh, yeah, that's the first thing. But if you guys want to turn on this, please uh, comment below and saying that you do or you don't. Um, but anyways, the next thing I'm going to show you is the website that I worked on. Um, I started working on this yesterday as well. Um, now, I came out with this template, or I just made this really quick template. Um, I don't know if it's the best, but I mean, it was just quick and easy. I just wanted something to work with. Um, but I have a welcome. Where is Dart using this website? What is the future of this website? We're going to get started with Dart. You guys can pause it if you really want to read all that. But um, practically, the cool thing about this is you're on this page, mywebsite.html, the whole time. When you click on a link, uh, this little slider slides, and it changes what's showing. Um, that's one of the cool things that I made with Dart, um, using a little system that I thought up. Um, but... Uh, one of the other things I used Dart for, or what I did use it for, is when you click on one of these links, um, below, down below, it would um, it would show like it would show the videos that are related to that link. So for this, it would show all the game development uh, videos I have. But um, the reason I have it just go to a playlist on my YouTube channel is because of the fact that every single time it load, it would lag pretty bad because, or it wouldn't lag. It would just take a little while to load up because of the fact that it was loading like 20 plus videos. But um, that's what uh, all this commented out stuff is right here. Um, but the big thing, uh, actually, I just finished this up today. I started working on this today, and I finished it up, um, is the chat. Um, so this was made with Dart. It's my own little, uh, I made like a, I didn't file like a tutorial for this because there's really no tutorials. I, I can't fi find any tutorials on YouTube or anything like that. So um, I decided to... Uh, trying to figure this out, so I'm using WebSockets, and um, I, I followed, or no, I looked at some sample code um, on one of the uh, developers, or the Dart developers' websites, but it was kind of outdated, and um, I decided that I had to figure out how to make everything work, so after a few hours uh, fixing bugs and errors, I finally figured out how to make it work. So, right now I don't have the server up and running, so I'm just going to start that up. Um, so now that's running, if I reload the page and I go to the chat again, it says welcome to Base4435's chat. Um, so now if I type in like a nickname, John, and then I do like, hello YouTube, I press enter, it shows it. Um, one of the things that you'll notice is it doesn't get rid of what's inside of the uh, message box, and that's because of, of um, it was just giving off an error that I could not figure out, so I'm going to try and figure that out later, and I decided to show you that anyway, it's not that big of a deal. But um, a cool thing about this is if you press enter, and there's nothing in the um, in the message box. Nothing's going to print. Same with the uh, nickname. Nothing's going to print there. Um, so I'm just going to leave that like that. Um, that's my friend's name. Uh, he was just over actually. But um, where is it? Uh, I'm just going to go into another. Or I'm going to copy this, and then go on do it again. And now I'm going to show you the chat. So I'm going to name this like baseball four three five for me, and I'll name it like hello there enter and then it shows up there and then you guys or anybody that's on it can have like a little chat back and forth um, 
I'm just going to keep on pressing enter over and over to show you that it scrolls down. Um, and then you can also extend it to your liking if you want to make it a little bit bigger and it'll all uh, fit out for you. But um, yeah, I mean, that's the that's what I made so far, guys. Um, I'm going to be showing you how to make a tutorial on this chat, on the website, and um, possibly on the moving, but you guys have to tell me if you want that or not. But um, thanks for watching, guys. Oh, actually, by the way, if you guys want to look at Dart and you want to download or get a head start with it, um, you can go to the website, which is dartlang.org. Lang is short for language, obviously. And they have um, some samples and uh, right here, and they have um, a community page where they have different links to get to different forums and stuff like that. But um, uh, yeah, you can get the Dart editor here, which is the editor that I use. I'm pretty sure it's actually like a, uh, I think they just took Eclipse, uh, clip the Eclipse um, uh, program, and they just edited it a little bit, because it looks exactly like it. Uh, there's Eclipse product right here, and it's the same icon, so I'm pretty sure that's what they did with that. And also for the browser, it's called Dartium, but it's actually, um, just, I'm pretty sure it's just Chrome edited a little bit. Um, but um, yeah, there's the downloads right there, and then there's some tutorials, or simple things right there. But um, yeah, so if you guys want to head start, uh, go ahead. Um, if you look forward to seeing this, just comment on what you'd like to see, if you'd like to see anything else. But um, thanks for watching, guys. Come rate, subscribe. See you later.